mass production process and modern manufacturing machines. Faucets, production processes. The production process of faucets can vary depending on the type of faucet and the manufacturer. However, here are some general steps that are involved in the process. Raw materials. The most common raw material used in faucet production is brass. Brass is a durable and corrosion resistant metal that is also relatively easy to work with. Casting. The first step in the production process is to cast the main body of the faucet. This is done by melting brass and pouring it into a mold of the desired shape. Machining. Once the faucet has been cast, it is machined to its final shape and dimensions. This is done using a variety of machine tools, such as lathes and milling machines. Polishing. The faucet is then polished to give it a smooth and shiny finish. This is done using a variety of polishing wheels and compounds. Plating. The faucet is then plated with a thin layer of metal, such as chrome or nickel. This is done to protect the faucet from corrosion and to give it a more attractive appearance. Assembly. The final step in the production process is to assemble the faucet. This involves attaching the various components, such as the handle, spout, and cartridge. Once the faucet has been assembled, it is tested to ensure that it is working properly. It is then packaged and shipped to the customer. In addition to the above steps, some manufacturers may also perform additional processes, such as quality control, to ensure that their faucets meet certain standards. This may involve inspecting faucets at various stages of the production process. Bathtub Acrylic Production Processes The production process of an acrylic bathtub can be divided into the following steps. Mold Preparation The mold of the bathtub is typically made from wood or metal. It is important to create a mold that is accurate and well-made, as this will directly affect the quality of the finished bathtub. Acrylic Sheet Preparation the acrylic sheet is cut to size and then heated in an oven until it is foldable. The temperature required will vary depending on the type of acrylic being used. Vacuum forming. The heated acrylic sheet is placed over the mold and a vacuum is applied. This causes the acrylic sheet to conform to the shape of the mold. The vacuum forming process is typically carried out in a vacuum forming machine. Trimming. Once the acrylic has cooled and hardened, it is trimmed to its final size and shape. This is typically done with a saw or router. Reinforcement. A reinforcing layer is applied to the back of the bathtub to increase its strength and durability. This reinforcing layer can be made from a variety of materials, such as fiberglass, resin or metal. The reinforcing layer is typically applied using a brush or roller. Finishing The bathtub is finished with a variety of processes, such as polishing, sanding and painting. This is done to give the bathtub a finished appearance and to protect it from scratches and other damage. Once the bathtub has been finished, it is ready to be installed. Acrylic bathtubs are lightweight and easy to install, making them a popular choice for homeowners and contractors alike.
Coconut Milk Production Manufacturing The manufacturing process of coconut milk can be divided into the following steps. Dehusking and washing. The coconuts are dehusked using a variety of methods, such as hand tools, machines, or a combination of both. Once the husks are removed, the coconuts are washed to remove any dirt or debris. Pairing. The brown skin of the coconuts is removed using a variety of methods, such as hand tools, machines, or a combination of both. The brown skin contains tannins, which can give the coconut milk a bitter taste. Grinding. The coconut meat is ground into a fine pulp using a variety of methods, such as grinders, mills, or a combination of both. The finer the pulp is ground, the more coconut milk that can be extracted. Extracting. The coconut milk is extracted from the pulp by using a variety of methods, such as pressing, filtering, and centrifugation. Pressing involves squeezing the pulp to extract the milk. Filtering involves passing the pulp through a screen or filter to remove the solid particles. Centrifugation involves spinning the pulp at high speed to separate the milk from solid particles. Homogenizing. The coconut milk is homogenized to create a smooth and consistent texture. Homogenization involves breaking up the fat globules in the milk so that they are evenly distributed throughout the liquid. Pasteurizing. The coconut milk is pasteurized to kill any harmful bacteria. Pasteurization involves heating the milk to a high temperature for a short period of time. Packaging. The coconut milk is packaged in cans, cartons, or pouches. The packaging material is chosen to protect the milk from contamination and to extend its shelf life. Cigarette Manufacturing Cigarette manufacturing is a highly automated process that produces millions of cigarettes each day. The process begins with the cultivation and harvesting of tobacco leaves. The leaves are then dried, cured, and processed into a variety of tobacco blends. The tobacco blend is then cut into thin strips and fed into cigarette-making machines. These machines wrap the tobacco in cigarette paper and add a filter. The cigarettes are then cut to length and packaged. Here is a more detailed overview of the cigarette manufacturing process. Cigarette making. Cigarette making machines wrap the cut tobacco in cigarette paper and add a filter. The cigarettes are then cut to length. Quality control. The cigarettes are inspected to ensure that they meet all quality standards. This includes checking the length, weight, and moisture content of the cigarettes. Packaging. The cigarettes are packaged in packs, which are then wrapped in foil and placed in cartons. Cigarette manufacturing is a complex process that requires a variety of specialized equipment and expertise. The industry is also heavily regulated by governments around the world. Rangdong Lighting LED Production Process Rangdong Lighting is a leading manufacturer of LED lighting products in Vietnam. The company's LED production process is as follows. Rangdong Lighting uses high-quality materials from reputable suppliers to ensure the quality of its LED products. The materials are carefully inspected before being used in the production process. The LED wafer is the core component of an LED bulb. Rangdong Lighting uses state-of-the-art wafer fabrication equipment to produce high-quality LED wafers. The LED chip is packaged into a small, durable package that protects the chip from damage and environmental factors.
Rangdong Lighting uses a variety of chip packaging technologies depending on the specific application of the LED product. The LED modules are assembled into the final LED product. Rangdong Lighting uses a variety of module assembly techniques depending on the type of LED product being produced. All Rangdong Lighting LED products are thoroughly tested before being shipped to customers. The company has a strict quality control system in place to ensure that all of its products meet its high standards of quality. PVC Patch Manufacturing Process The PVC patch manufacturing process can be broken down into the following steps. The first step is to create a design for the patch. This can be done using a variety of software programs such as Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. The design should be simple and easy to reproduce as it will be engraved into a metal mold. Once the design is complete, a metal mold is created. This is done using a CNC engraving machine. The mold is engraved with a negative of the patch design, so that the patch can be created in relief. Liquid PVC is dispensed into the mold using a dispensing machine. The PVC is dispensed in layers, one color at a time. Once all of the layers have been dispensed, the mold is baked to cure the PVC. Once the PVC is cured, the excess PVC is trimmed away from the patch. This is done using a variety of methods, such as laser cutting or die cutting. The finished patch may be coated with a protective layer to give it a glossy or matte finish. The patch can also be backed with a hook and loop backing or a glue backing.